<laughs> We're going on a skiing adventure. Check it. Y'all ready for this? Give it to me like a bass uh. drum. She's good. So you've never crossed country skiing? Never. I haven't skied of any kind. I'm dying! I'm glad. I think you need a lot of gear. I have like underwear that are longer than normal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, that's supposed to be no. for afterwards. I need what it. are you doing? I'm carbo loading for the big race. What's up, everybody? I'm Anna. And I'm Elena. And today, we're gonna learn how to cross country ski. All right, we're here in snowy mountains of Washington and we made it. We did, we made it because I'm the best driver. That's true. Yeah. And we are here with Michelle and she is our cross country ski expert. And she is gonna attempt to teach us how to ski. Yeah. Across the country. <laughs> Have you guys uh, cross country skied before at all? Nope. Well, we'll get to some good stuff today. So, uh, cross country. Cross country skiing, it really is accessible for everybody. You can just go on a short little jaunt or you can go miles. It really is up to miles. you. Miles. Because we're sliding, right? Our skis are still helping us do a lot of that work. So it is less exertion typically than snowshoeing would be. Less right. exertion. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, are we dressed for it? I got my vent flaps open. Our first thing is just to make sure that we're not wearing cotton layers. Down layers, insulating layers, fleece is a great one. So we seem to be geared up. I'm moderately warm. Now what? We're gonna need special boots that have a little bar in the toe and the bar just clips right into the ski. So if you've seen people downhill skiing, they've got their full boot is connected to the ski. Yeah. Um, but with cross country, we're really just working on that toe. So it's, it's awesome because the boots are a lot more comfortable. We have a lot more movement in the ankle um, and the whole foot. Your vibe is making me very comfortable. Relax time. All right, let's grab our gear and go for it. Okay, I got this. How does one go? How do we make this go? We're gonna put our skis nice and perpendicular to the hill. We're gonna clip in, so we're gonna use the tow bar on our boots. We're going to put our hands through the loops of our pole so that the weight is more on our wrist so we're not gripping our ski poles too tightly. We've got a bend in the knee, nice athletic stance, and we'll head on down the trail. The grace comes later. It's almost kind of like I'm walking. Or I'm just gonna practice stepping with my skis. So I'm gonna step, step, Glide. I can push, push, but there's no glide. I gotta push, push, no glide. Glide. I could see this being peaceful. Who makes these tracks? So we're actually in an area that is maintained and groomed by the snow park. That basically helps compact the snow to make it easier for us to ski on. One of the biggest pieces of cross country ski etiquette is that we respect and take care of the tracks. I'm in it. I'm out of it. And you're, you're across it. So we're gonna wanna be on the right hand side. Think of it like lanes on a road. Oh God. Boom. Yeah! Boom. In it. In there. That's awesome. For the record, we didn't screw it up. So we're really thinking about shifting our weight from one foot to the other. With each step, I've got a bend in my knee and it's almost kind of like this nice little bounce back and forth. Back and forth. Oh, yeah. Much better. Okay. Yeah. Step, step. Glide. Oh. Go, girl. I'm doing it. I got this. I got this. Maybe. You look like a Nordic advertisement right now. And I'll never admit this to Elena, but I think she's a better skier than me. What, what did he say? Nothing. Nothing? Keep going. I'm gone, you guys. I'm out of here. If I need to fall, what am I doing? Where am I falling? Is, is it a valuable lesson, Michelle? Should we know how to fall? Why? Learning in a controlled setting can be really helpful because then if it happens in an uncontrolled setting, Michelle! your body knows what to do. That's code for yes. After we've fallen, we want our skis to be as parallel as possible. Nice and downhill. See if you can rock yourself forward and get that knee underneath you. And then into the crouched position. And now straight up. Okay, Michelle, so you taught us how to glide, how to use our poles, how to fall. 
how do we stop? The easiest way to do it for beginners is to go into what we call the pizza. All right, so we're sticking the front of our skis together, the tips together. We're getting our tails out away from each other. We're gonna bend the knee, keeping that nice athletic stance. And then we're gonna rotate our ankles inward slightly so that we've got the edge digging into the snow. Okay. To stop us. Woo! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Did you for real rip your pants? <laughs> well done. You got a vent. Now we got vents together. Lunch? The rough news is that we're gonna have to go back up that hill that we just came down. What? Awesome job, ladies. Yeah! We learned something new! Woo! Pull high five. Nailed it. All right, Elena. I know you were a little skeptical at first. Yes, I was. How do you feel about skiing now? Well, it's quite refreshing. Not only the cool, brisk air <laughs> and the picturesque scenery, but it was pretty awesome to try something new. Made some mistakes, but that's what you're supposed to do. It's about learning. I'm going to be sore tomorrow. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm thinking about. Do it again next week? Why not? My girl.